Hey, Sneaky Linux, back tonight. And tonight we're going to install and use Audacity in Puppy Linux. Now you're saying, Audacity, does that run in Puppy Linux? Of course it does, don't be so silly. But first you need to get some files. Now you can get these for the uh, Puppy website or from the Puppy forums. And the first one is libiconv 1.13 for this version I'm using. Now it doesn't mean you have to convert to a faith, but it is a lib, okay? So keep it real, you know what I'm saying? You click OK to install. It updates. No problem, look at that. Nice and quick. So he says. But it updates. But this has no menu entry, so not a problem. It just takes a little while and we're in. No problem. The next one we really have to install is Jack. Now I'll just move my cursor up just a little bit. And it's Jack 0. 116.1 and it's another pet file. Just click on it once and install again, like the last one. It doesn't make you have to jack your body or dance anywhere, so that'd be cool. You can just sit in your seat, no problem. It'll install the last one. And we'll wait a little while again and again and again. So if I sound like this, but it'd be a long, long day. But I really wanted to get this one out because it's been on the stick for a little while. Done on puppy on a stick as usual, no problem. So there we go to the Audacity pet. Now this is a static. I always try and use a static so it's a bit more reliable and you know you can use them more. So there we go. Do we want to install? Yes we do. We OK it and it's gone straight into the menu. No problem. So you wait for it to update and then we can start using it. That'd be really good. And we wait and we wait and we wait and we wait and we wait. And we wait. It's quite a big file for puppy so don't worry about it. Okay, so it will be finished in a minute. I promise you, it will. It will. There you go. Look, all done. So we can get rid of that, and we can get back to the nitty gritty now, can't we? Okay. So we go to menu, we go to multimedia, and there she is, Audacity. There we go. Click on it. Choose a language. Okay, I'll use English. That's good for me because I do actually speak that. And we get this pop-up box. Just click OK. Not a problem. I'll bring it to the middle for you. Now, if you've used Audacity before, you know all about it. But if not, you can record from different sections, like your mic 1, front mic, CD, CD2. So you might want to do a bit of stuff on your CDs or whatever. Anyway, we'll get back to Nicky Gritty, shall we? So we want to start monitoring. Now, that's quite low. So we want to turn that up so we get some input volume. And you'll see a bit of movement there. No problem. Can you see what I'm saying? There it goes. Look. Easy. Some puppy users have said this doesn't actually work, but I've never had actually, actually had a problem with it once I've got all the extras put in, which is them two I've showed you, for this particular static. Now what I'm doing here, I've got the microphone and I'm just tapping it and so it's got you know oblique pictures there and oblique noises. Not a problem. I'm gonna play it back now. So we click play. If you look at the output volume, it's playing back and it's playing back through my speakers. As I said before, I've not actually configured for recording and get it on the thing at the same time. So I will get round to that. But it does actually do it. So what we do with that, you can actually save the project as an Audacity project. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to export it. Now if you're doing a CD, or you've done some stuff to a CD remix, or you've done some levels or whatever, you can do stuff there. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click OK. Go to my documents. Um, I'm going to put stuff there. It's me. I'm going to call it me. But I'm not going to save it as a WAV file. I'm going to save it as an MP3 file. So you know, I haven't got to do all that afterwards. So you click save. It will save it as an MP3 file for you. No problem. Look at that. Easy. Actually, that's even quicker than it was in Ubuntu. Weird, that, isn't it, really? But so yeah, we'll go back to where we've saved it, which is in my documents. And there's the me file. I'll go to that properties, tells you all about it. It's near short 992k stuff. We'll go down the bottom, look. It's 128, 44.1 stereo. Enough said, really. It works, easy peasy. Sneak Linux out, nothing else to say. Speak to you tomorrow.